Okay guys, so I'm like totally gonna be making like a green juice, man. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this coconut water. I'm gonna use these two green apples, which are not organic, so I'm gonna peel the skin. I'm gonna throw this nice big old lime in there. I'm gonna use some of this hydroponic mint. I'm gonna use this uh, cholera, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Apparently the cleanest lettuce in the world. It's crunch lettuce. I was gonna get some butter lettuce too, but I didn't. You can see that roots on there. You usually get that when you buy the, the hydroponic stuff. And then I've got some basil right there. I'm gonna use this organic spring mix. I'm gonna use some of this lacinato kale right here and some of this cilantro actually this is parsley i'm tripping uh the cilantro <laughs> cilantro that's funny but the the cilantro is is it wait i got cilantro didn't i this is cilantro, but I don't think this is the one that I, I got yesterday. <laughs> there it is. It's right there. I knew I got some, but uh, yeah, cilantro. This is parsley, Italian flat leaf parsley. We're going to put that right back. Don't worry, I'll make a juice with that later. Actually, you know what? Why would I ever in my life use, you know what? I <laughs> See, that guy's a jokester. And then I'm also going to throw a little bit of this cinnamon into my juice because spice. Spice that up, man. So yeah, let's go ahead. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Raw foods, man. Okay, now this right here, this is a green juice. This is a masterpiece. It is the wavy one here. If you never seen me before, you're seeing me now. So I'm about to make a green juice to get my day started. Really bring the minerals, bring the conductivity, the electricity, the freaking energy that comes from living fruits, vegetables, and I'm going to juice that shit up. So right here, we've got some, what's it called? Italian flat leaf parsley. Got some basil leaves right here. Basil. Then I've got five leaves of kale. A little bit of kale, a little bit of kale. Oh, that smell, that kale smell. I like it. I like it. I want more of it. Then we've got our cilantro. Get in there. Cilantro. Baby. <laughs> drop some of this mint in here that's good I'm a <laughs> that's all of it uh, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a good amount a good amount of mint a little bit more why not? It's good for the respiratory system. Really opens up the lungs. Get the mucus moving. And I'll save the rest of that for another beautiful 
juice. I thought I had the knife. I don't have the knife. Oh my gosh. I got the knife. Uh, but I've got this hydroponic lettuce right here which still is connected to that root, the living root, which take some of that, drop that right in there. That way we can continue to get some of the probiotics and that dirt and just stay harmonious with all of the stuff. Then we just drop that in there like that. Then I'm gonna open up this organic spring mix, which has a bunch of stuff in it. Ingredients right there, yep. It's got stuff in it, it's, it's good for you. Juice it. It's green, man. It's freaking green, man. Some of it's red. <laughs> Some of it's freaking red. No, no, no. You come here, my friend. You, you, you do that. That, and just keep stuffing it in there. Just keep stuffing it in there. Well, I don't have to do that, man. I've got like a Nama J too. <laughs> well, good for you, man. Good for you and your Nama J. Now for the rest of us old souls out there, I'm just gonna keep feeding the machine, man. But you gotta feed the monkey, man. <laughs> That is, oh, 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 oh. Uh, that is plastic. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but uh, I stopped it from happening. Yep. No plastic in my juice. Thank you. Now, green apples. I know I said I was gonna cut it in the little intro, but when you really think about it, because people say, oh, you have to wash it because of the pesticides, and then you need to peel it because of the pesticides. But really think about it this way. Do you really think that the pesticides aren't going to be inside of the fruit? Do you think that the roots aren't gonna suck some of that up? You really think that? I don't think that that's a thing. So I um, am going to not worry. And I'm going to be happy. Because really, if you wash it, there's no point in peeling it. And if you're going to peel it, then what's the point in washing it? But there's, you know, things, man, things. At the end of the day, weigh the good with the bad. Okay, as soon as you step outside, it's toxic as shit anyway. So that's why we're here making these beautiful juices full of life and minerals, hydration, oxygen, hydrogen. Okay, the electricity. Okay, all the energy. The bio photons, that sunlight energy. That interacts with your melanin. And it makes everything better. So, <laughs> drop these in there. There's that juice. 
There's that juice. We got the seeds in there as well. You always want to juice your seeds. That way you get a little bit of that essence in there for that anti-parasite bacteria viral effect. Get some of those fatty acids out there, some of the oils, the uh, aminos. help to balance out those sugars with that bitterness. There we go. Yep, a strange little contraption here. I don't know why it's getting stuck at the bottom, but anyway. That is done with. So, all I got to really do now is juice this lime. So I haven't had lime in a while. But we're having it today. It's gonna be a lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. When I wake up in the morning though. And the sunlight hurts my eyes. And something without warning, I mm -mm, weighs heavy on my mind. And then I look at you, and the world's all right with me. I just want to look at you, and I know it's going to be. That's love. <laughs> like, I am, um, from personal experience, that guy, he was in love once. And that's how you make good music, right? Whether it works out or it don't work out. Uh, didn't I have a compost thingy? I just gotta throw the other thingy away. But yeah, I like to feed, you know, the stuff back to, back to, you know, nature, earth. Okay, nature gives, I receive the love, and then I give it back. Okay, just keep the cycle going, keep everything flowing, keep it cool and copacetic, harmonious, right? Synergistic, other words. <laughs> so, uh, this didn't go in there, but I found somewhere for it to go. So I'm just gonna run this through the Drainer, get some more of that uh that essence, but I don't want to use you know all of this. So I probably used like 16 ounces, and I'm going to I am the return. I do not think this is a liter and a half but I just might turn it into one. But you know what I almost did not do? Add some of this freshly ground Saigon cinnamon. Okay. And we're gonna get the expert knife mix. the knife mixer and now we're gonna see uh, how this shakes out
So about halfway. So the young coconuts, the young coconuts be green. So just go ahead. This is, this is green juice approved. Really it's any juice approved. And I like my coconut water. So there's that. Now, if I really wanted to take some extra time here, I would juice a little bit of celery and do that like that. Ooh, it landed where I, I didn't really have any desire for, you know, an outcome for that. I just tossed it, but yeah. So I had a top for this. I had one. Aha, ha ha, you got me. So yeah, a beautiful green juice. I haven't really made a green juice like this in a, in a little bit. Definitely lettuce, it's been a, a little, uh, might've been like 2021 last time I juiced some lettuce, probably. Who knows, man, but mm, you can smell that cinnamon in there too. You don't really need that much. That's good. That's good. You got the sweetness of the apple. Like those two apples is all you really needed. And then you got the coconut too. But you taste the sweetness, you taste the green. I'm not gonna lie to you. Cause I wouldn't do that to you. But uh, what I'm gonna do I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. You don't know what I'm gonna do yet. But that's why I gotta tell you. As soon as I wash this, uh, just a little bit. Just a little. Just a little. And then I gotta, uh, real quick, strain the strainer. You ever strained your strainer before? Like a strained muscle? A sprained ankle? Kurt freaking angle? Can you dig it? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, the Warriors? Anyway, he's going all over the place with his rantings. I think he's finally jumped off the deep end. <laughs> jumped off the deep end. <laughs> I bought a home there. <laughs> so I'm gonna strain this again. Like it's cool, you feel me? It's cool, but, uh, and then I got to wash this. You know, we, you got to get it right. You got to keep it cool. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep it freaking cool. And see, you have to, you have to wash that out because if you don't, then all the fiber that you left in the jar <laughs> is still going to be in there. And kind of, you know, like, what's the point of straining it if you're going to just, you know, live your, excuse me, live your life, you know, lackadaisical like. Now, speaking of lackadaisical, there was actually supposed to be grape leaves inside of this recipe, which I literally could have walked five minutes down the street and got some grape leaves. I did not want to walk five minutes down the street for grape leaves. So... There are no grape leaves in this here recipe, and I was kind of excited to do that. See, I washed this so that I could strain it again for here, but there's no way that that is gonna be able to take place. But, you know, where there is a will, it might be a way. Cause I just want, I just want it to be cool and copacetic. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to strain it uh, one more time. <laughs> one more time. 
He's a freaking fibber. He fibbed. Yeah. So, with that being said, you don't have to get all the fi you're never going to get all the fiber out. But for me personally, that works a little bit better. And this is the green freaking juice. Mm-hmm. That's good. I like that a lot. So that has been a green juice. I have been your gracious host, the wavy one. And yeah, go out and make some green juices. And then, so, I mean, for those of y'all who know, I do love the fruit juices, my apples, my oranges, watermelon, grape, you know, whatever I can really get my hands on, you know? But green juices are good too. Very high in minerals, okay? Very good for a detox. But it's not as, it's not as cleansing as the fruits, but it's still, you know, it, it, if you come from the world of fast foods and processed, you know, junk uh, food, you know, food products from the store, and then you start drinking a green juice every day, you will definitely see a difference within a couple days, a few weeks, you know, in a month, you'll be a totally different person. So anyway, go and make a green juice. Like I said, you can always, you know, add a little coconut water or you can do the green apples. Make sure to put that lime in there for the extra cleansing effects. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, fully green. Some people are afraid of sugar though. So if you don't want as much sugar, then maybe just use one apple or you know, just add, instead of the coconut water, just add regular water, but not tap water, because tap water is terrible. Don't, don't ever, don't, 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 do not ever. Don't even, don't even, you drink tap water, don't come back here. I don't, we don't want to see you here, okay? I do want to see you though, so don't drink fucking tap water. Don't do that to yourself. Do not do that to yourself. If you don't know why I'm telling you not to drink tap water, where have you been the past, like, how old am I? <laughs> Where have you been? Okay, <laughs> but uh, I love you from my heart to yours. Let's all be healthy and then we can make the world a much better place. You know, because humans are the disease. We, we are the bacteria, <laughs> believe it or not. People are worried about bacteria and germs and, you know, viruses, right? Well, what do you think we are to the planet? <laughs> we keep spreading and growing. We are the freaking, the germ, okay? And we cause chaos and destruction, and there's death and greed and pride, ego, freaking withholding of emotions, and freaking, you know, being in our lower nature, in the root chakra, instead of rising up the spine, the kundalini, Jacob's ladder, to reach Mount Pinea, Illuminate the pineal gland. Don't drink the tap water with the fluoride in there, which has been shown to calcify your third eye. Fluoride toothpaste? How about fluoride-free toothpaste? Because it literally says to not give it to children and don't swallow it. So why, why would you even use that? If you don't want to eat it, you shouldn't be putting it in your skin. You shouldn't be putting it in your mouth because you're still going to absorb it. So, you know what I'm saying? But through the power of raw fruits and vegetables, green juices, coconut water, and all kinds of other groovy stuff, right? You can be illuminated, right? Once you cleanse the vessel. I could preach for another freaking day, okay? But uh, I'll let you go. Peace be with you, and I will catch y'all in the next video.